आर यू ए डोट नेट डेवलपर और यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट योर करियर एज ए डोट नेट डेवलपर देन दिस टूटोरियल इज फॉर यू इन दिस सीरीज वी विल बी लर्निंग ऑल अबाउट द कलेक्शन विच इज यूज इन सी शार्प लैंग्वेज हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज नितीश एंड आल बी योर इंस्ट्रक्टर थ्रू आउट दिस सीरीज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न वट इज कलेक्शन वाई शुड वी लर्न अबाउट द कलेक्शन दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट बिफोर लर्निंग एनी थिंग यू मस्ट नो वाई यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वाई शुड वी लर्न अबाउट द कलेक्शन वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कलेक्शन and then we will see some examples of the collection classes first of all let's understand what are the collections collection is a type with a purpose of managing group of data in memory so basically there are few things to understand about the collection first collection is a type just like any other type like the string the integer the boolean collection is also a type what is the purpose of that type its purpose is to manage group of data so basically we are not talking about the single data we are talking about the group of data also in memory so all the data which is available in memory then that is called collections so what is the meaning of having data in memory so suppose you have data in your physical file that is available in your database but if data is available inside your program in the memory of the program then that is called the in memory data and collection is a type with the purpose of managing group of data in memory now let's have a example of collection suppose i have a person and i want to store the name of this person into some variable what will i do simply i will create a string type variable suppose the name of the variable is name1 and simply i will assign the name of the person to this variable this is very simple example again suppose i have one more person and again i want to store the name of the second person into some variable what will i do again i will create a new variable and simply i will assign the name of this person to the second variable similarly suppose i have one more person what will i do i will create one more variable and i will assign the name of this third person to this third variable now suppose you have a number of people like this and you have to store the name of all these persons what will you do the first thing is you will create lots of lots of variables for each person and managing those variables is not a good idea what is the alternate the alternate is collection let's see what is that so basically we will do some assignments just like the previous example but in this scenario the type of the variable will be something different that's why i have written something so it is not string it is not anything else it is something so basically when we will learn about the collections we will replace this something with some special keywords for now let's assume the type will be something then we will create a variable name and simply we will assign all the names of all the persons to that single variable and this is very easy as compared to creating multiple variables and assigning names to those multiple variables now let's see one more thing what are the collection elements so all the members of a collections are known as elements so this is clear from the previous example that a collection is a special type which holds group of data it means there are multiple data into a single variable and all the data if we talk about the separate data suppose i have 10 names inside a variable then all those 10 names individually are called as element of the collection for example suppose i have a collection which holds 10 records this collection has 
टेन एलिमेंट ईच मेंबर इज एन एलिमेंट ऑफ अ कलेक्शन so why we are learning about the elements so basically in the upcoming videos i'll be using elements for the member of the collection and this is the standard definition of the collection elements now the question is why should we learn about the collections managing large number of group data is easy in almost all the applications you have to work with the data whatever you are doing you have to manage your data whether you are working in the in memory data or you are storing the data of something in the database ultimately you have to work with the data that's why managing large number of group data is easy if you are working with the collections and simply if i talk about the collection then i will say in almost all the applications you have to use collection so this is this is the main topic in the csr which you have to learn if you want to work with the data in your application next point is we can perform several operations on data very quickly reading from a collection what is the meaning of a reading from collection reading a specific element from collection suppose i have a collection and which holds 2000 records yes we can assign 2000 records also to a collection and suppose i want to read about the 100th element of that collection then it is very much easy to read that 100th element for the collection we don't have to worry about the variable names we don't have to worry anything else simply with the help of one variable of the collection we can fetch the 100th record very easily enumerate all elements from collection suppose you need to read all the elements from the collection then it is also very much easy to read all the elements from the collection suppose you have a list of few names and you have to display all the names on your screen then if you are working with the variables suppose you have 10 variables and you need to display your data on a screen then you have to write your syntax 10 times for each variable now if you are working with the collections you have to write your syntax only once and all the data which is available in the collection will be available on your screen whether it has 10 records or it has 100 record or it has 1000 records what is the meaning of writing to collection suppose if you need to add a new record inside your collection then it is very easy to add new record let's see an example of a class suppose i have a class which has few record suppose 50 students okay and all the 50 students are available inside a collection now today or tomorrow a new student comes and join the class and i have to add the name of that student to the variable then it is very easy to add the new records inside the collection updating an existing collection suppose if you want to update any particular element from the collection then you can do that also if you need to remove an element from the collection you can do that also so basically all the crud operations are possible if you are working with the collections and all the operations are very easy to perform now let's see what are the different types of collection there are two types of collections first is non generic and the second is generic so we will start with the non generic and later on when we will be expert in the non generic then we will start our learning in the generic collections here are the few examples of the collections so there are different type of collections first is array array list stack hash set linked list there are multiple types of collections which are available in the dotnet framework and we will be learning all the collections which are available inside the dotnet in the series now let's see what tools and technologies we are going to use in the series i'll be using dotnet core this is the latest framework of the dotnet so i'll be using dotnet core and i'll be using the latest c sharp i'll be working with the console applications and for the editor i'll be using visual studio code if at any place we think that we have to use visual studio then i will use visual studio also but 
most of the time I'll try to use Visual Studio Code because this is available as free of cost and also it is platform independent. Thank you for watching. You can visit to our website www.webcentral.com to know more about this. And don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.